Since the 1970s, Dr. Ezio Rosado, Dr. Graham Mode, and Dr. San Tang have worked together at CSIRO in developing radical polymerization techniques. Rosado's novel introduction of addition fragmentation chemistry to polymer synthesis led to the team's 1996 discovery of reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer technology, or RAFT, now regarded as the most effective, versatile and convenient method of converting monomers into new polymers. We had technology which basically would work like RAFT, but it wasn't really there. We realised that we could make the polymers in exactly the same way as we were doing it by conventional methods, except that it needed an extra ingredient, as it were. RAFT polymerization has revolutionised polymer science and technology by facilitating the synthesis of previously unattainable polymers and the application of polymers in many new areas. When we came across RAFT and understood the chemistry, and also understood what it could do, I think we quickly realised that this had the potential to actually revolutionise the way that we make polymers. When our technician came to the office showing the narrow dispersity of the polymer pit, and we know that we're hitting something useful and new. Here was a technology that should help us build better products. Chris Such being a polymer scientists knew that these different polymers would have properties that would be suitable for their, for, for their applications. The polymer in a can of water-borne paint is in the form of particles. The raft allows you to build those particles in a controlled manner from the surface towards the inside. It allows us to now make polymers of very precise chain lengths and polymers with reactive end groups. So we can now start to couple those reactive end groups together to make very complex shapes, for example, star polymers that have very interesting properties in their own right. Its applications are broad and commercial interest is intense. More than 500 US patents, all dependent on raft technology, have been filed by some 60 companies. We want to see this as a, in the biomedical application and we can deliver the small interferon RNA into the cell. And we also have the in vivo data that raw polymer is non-toxic and can also deliver the gene to do the silencing work. The benefits of Biomed had been thought of before that time. It's just that when we were able to exploit them in terms of uh, taking things to a commercial outcome. These talented scientists' unique and complementary strengths, Rosado as the analytical thinker and team leader, Mode with his extensive understanding of the literature and physical organic chemistry, and Tang as an exceptional experimental organic chemist, have enabled them to collectively address major scientific challenges. Graham Mode sees the forest, Sen Tang sees the trees, and I believe I'm somewhere in between. And when needed, I can bring the trees and the forest together. I think that a combination of different backgrounds is has been important in achieving what we achieved. We are stay as a team even until now. Not only that, personally, we are very good friends together. Without the combination of those three different skill sets, it's unlikely that RAFT technology would have been developed. We've all benefited from, from our collaborations. The RAFT technology, invented and developed by Drs. Rosado, Mode and Tang, is being used by polymer research groups around the world and has dominated sessions on polymer synthesis at major international conferences. It has seen Rosado ranked in the Thomson Reuters International Top 20 Chemists and be awarded the 2011 Prime Minister's Science Prize. I think Raft has got a really bright future. You know, we know that there are many companies out there developing all kinds of products. We see an opportunity to build better polymers both now and in the future that will sustain our competitive advantage. We can actually say we're contributing something to the scientific world because we have this novel technology to allow us to make material that previously cannot make. Its application in the creation of new and innovative products across cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, paints and electronic devices has already contributed significantly to the progression of polymer science in Australia and to the economy and promises to improve the product experience for future generations of Australians and consumers around the world.